Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening and welcome to this third episode of the Souls of Fire show here on the channel. My name is Ona Christie and this is inspiration and resources for starseed entrepreneurs. Okay, so if you tuned into last week's episode, you may remember that I shared some guidance from, from my guides about one way that we can get unstuck if we're kind of feeling a little bit bogged down in business. Like this is specifically if you're feeling like your revenue is stuck, like you're not making the cash flow, right? They said to write down everything that you can do to get the cash flow going and, you know, find some ones that are A, fun and B, have a good potential return, pick one and then just take action on it. Okay. So I had um, a, a question here that from a viewer and Dante says, thanks for this. To be honest, it is hard to find the things in parentheses skills that are fun. Any suggestions? And I thought that was a great question. I think there's two aspects to this. One is that the concept of fun, right? <laughs> and, you know, we are talking about work and I think it can be sort of a challenge sometimes when we talk about fun, right? Modern life can teach us to be constantly looking for more and more and more sensual gratification or this feeling of things have to feel like way over the top um, in order to qualify as pleasurable or fun. Okay, so so going back to this idea of finding things that you can do that are fun, <laughs> um, you know, to, to make money in your business, sometimes we may need to redefine what fun means, okay? Just um, you, you can think in terms of, okay, what is it that makes you feel good, right? And it doesn't necessarily have to feel like you're shooting through the rapids on a kayak, right? It's just think in terms of something that feels relatively pleasurable to do, right? That does not feel like, like you're, you're gritting your teeth to get through it. Okay. Something that you can do and feel like, oh yeah, this isn't bad, <laughs> right? It feels pretty good. A lot of times those are the things that we can actually do again and again without getting burned out, right? Um, so, so that's one aspect of it. And then the other aspect, Dante said, to be honest, it's hard to find the things in parentheses skills that are fun. Okay. So sometimes I think we think in terms of finding your purpose or following your purpose or finding your dharma as, as like, what are you going to do? But it's not always about that. It's sometimes it's really about, you know, what presence are you bringing? Or it might be about the environment that you're working in or the particular people that you're working with, right? So sometimes we need to expand our understanding of what it is that's going to give us a sense of fulfillment. Sometimes I think we draw these little boxes for ourselves and then look for the answer within the box. And sometimes it can be helpful to be like, oh, let's open the box a little bit and maybe the answer is out here somewhere. So whether it's, you know, we're looking to shift career or to begin a career or to take the next step in your business or shift your business somehow, we have, my mind has a preconceived idea of how it has to be, right? So what I really encourage you to do is really invite yourself to you know, notice if things feel constricted, like, oh, I can't find the skills, right? And then look at it and it's like, well, you know, am I restricting myself in that, you know, am I looking for skills that are fun? And it really needs to be about well, who's the people that are fun to be around? You know, what's the environment that I enjoy? And it, it doesn't always have to be this level of fun. It can be just this, you know, okay, can I feel relaxed and, and you know, at home in this environment or with these people or using these skills? And then one last suggestion is to think back to your childhood and think about when you felt most uh, fulfilled as a child and what activities those were or what people they were or what places that you felt that way and, you know, feel into, well, what are some things that might relate to that, that you can bring into your work life now? Okay. And so I hope that this has been helpful and, oh, one more thing. Next week, we'll have a special guest here, and this will be next Wednesday. Um, 
Mary Wu was a, an amazing social media consultant, and she's going to give us some tips about LinkedIn, which for so many entrepreneurs is just this, this kind of golden untapped resource of social media. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. Watch for that. And until then, remember, you were born to be free.